If you're trying to be a stylish man in 2023, I think it's a great idea to take ideas and inspiration from the past. But normally when we look at style icons like uh, Paul Newman, James Dean, Brian Ferry, normally we have to interpret their style philosophy just from photographs and movies. But that's not the case with Cary Grant. This Hollywood heartthrob laid out his entire style philosophy in an interview with a now defunct 1960s magazine called This Week. So I found the article and I'm going to talk through it and really try and unpick the structure of his style philosophy and see what Cary Grant recommends to you. So although Cary Grant was a very successful and wealthy actor, he believed that taste was much more important than money when it comes to being stylish. He described himself as existing within the middle of fashion. What he meant by that was that his clothes were never too narrow and never too baggy, uh, things were never too slim or too wide, never too long or too short. He thought that simplicity was the essence of taste. And by avoiding trends that come over the years, you know, for going for super skinny cuts to super baggy cuts, then it meant that his style was always timeless and that he could keep on wearing the same suits for, for many years and, and never look out of fashion. Carrie believed in using clothing to emphasize the best parts of your body and detract from the worst. So Carrie believed that if you can only buy one suit, then that's totally fine. He said you should get something in a very, very dark navy, almost black. And he recommended to get something in a fairly lightweight wool fabric because most places have heating indoors. So if you're out in the cold, you can throw an overcoat and a scarf on top. And then when you get inside in the warm, then you won't overheat. For a second suit, he said get something in a gray worsted or gray flannel, which will be slightly warmer. Now, this is exactly like the suit he wears in North by Northwest. He actually wears the same suit throughout the entire movie and he looks so stylish. Just how fantastic he looks in this movie really goes to prove that you don't need many items in your closet to start dressing well. In fact, the only thing he changes during North by Northwest are his cufflinks. For a third suit, Cary Grant said get a summer suit that's made of cotton poplin. What he liked about these summer suits was that they are washable, very versatile and practical. He actually recommended breaking down the poplin suit into separates. He said that you could wear the jacket with a pair of gray flannel trousers, or you could wear the pants with a, a cotton sports shirt, like an Oxford cloth button down and a pair of white sneakers. Now, Cary Grant was very successful and rich, and he liked to spend his money on custom made suits from Dunhill on Savile Row and Chiffonelli in Paris. But he would keep his suits for over 10 years and often wear his own clothes in movies. And just like suits, Cary Grant believed in quality over quantity when it came to shoes. He said he took his father's advice that one pair of high quality shoes is better than four pairs of mediocre ones. If you're going to get just one pair of shoes, that would have to be a leather pair because that's what will be formal enough for those occasions where you need to dress up and also more durable than a pair of sneakers made from cloth material. But I would say that a man needs at least four pairs of shoes. You need a pair of dress shoes, you need a pair of boots, some loafers, and then I think the modern man would definitely benefit from having some sneakers as an option in his closet. When it came to his accessories, Cary Grant was not big on flashy or gauche accessories like tie bars, lapel pins. He kept it very, very basic. He always preferred plain ties to patterns. He didn't wear tie bars, uh, boutonnieres. He barely even wore a pocket square and he didn't wear any jewelry like bracelets and necklaces and fashion rings. If you do want to wear a pocket square, then he would just go with a simple white fold. And when it came to the ties, he quite liked, uh, you know, wool ties or knitted ties. In today's video, I am wearing this wool tie from Suit Supply. It's a, it's a nice plain gray slate color, kind of a little tribute to his outfit in North by Northwest. Cary Grant's favorite watch was a Cartier Tank. They're around $3,000, $4,000 to pick one of those up. But at the end of the video, I will share with you an affordable alternative that looks very similar and very classy. So simplicity really is the essence of Cary Grant's style. And if you want to recreate his looks, you don't really need very many pieces in your wardrobe. Look at his iconic North by Northwest look. 
All you need for this is a gray flannel suit. If you're following Cary Grant's philosophy, then you would want to get one that is custom made. For a great ready to wear option, check out this one by Suit Supply. It's $748 or you could get it made to measure at this store for a few hundred dollars extra. Then I would grab a really simple tie, just like the one I'm wearing. This was $70. I would get a classic white dress shirt from your favorite store of choice, or better yet, from your tailor. And finally, you need a good pair of quality shoes. Thursday boots make great value for money shoes. They're a direct to consumer brand, cuts out a lot of the middlemen, so you get great high quality pair of leather shoes they have all different styles but i think for the Cary grant look for something versatile check out this pair they offer great bang for your buck with full grain leather and blake stitching you know Cary grant didn't like fancy broguing he didn't really wear like tassel loafers or anything like that so he also preferred black to brown or sometimes ox blood but a pair of black toe cap shoes will definitely set you in the right direction. And then for the watch, check out this Seiko model, $141. The style is fantastic. Seiko makes very high quality, affordable watches. So especially in the beginning stages of buying your first few watches, I think Seiko is a great go-to brand. So Cary Grant believes that you should always buy the best you can afford, even if that means buying less. And I'd just like to finish today's video on a quote from the man himself. Permit me to suggest you buy the best you can afford, even though it means buying less. Rather like the stock market, it is usually more sensible to buy just one share of blue chip than 150 shares of $1 stock. So that's definitely a philosophy you can apply to your entire wardrobe. It's definitely one that I agree with and it's something that I'm working towards of building a high quality wardrobe of effective staple pieces, but also looking for those brands that offer the best value for money, like Suit Supply, like Thursday, Hockerty, Spear and Mackay. I talk a lot more about this in my other videos. So if you enjoyed this video about Cary Grant, then please do join the community by leaving a comment, checking out the other videos and subscribing to the channel if you want to. And I really hope to see you guys on the next one and continue on this journey of style together.